Let me ask you, Stu. I think it's the Patriot Act for me. What is the one thing that we walk away after 18 years and go, shouldn't have done that or should have done this? <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's an interesting on-the-spot question. I don't know that I have an instant answer to it. I mean, the Patriot Act, I think, is, a, is, a, is an interesting example because it was something that, at least for me, helped me understand that even when uh, you know something has a good intentions right mm -hmm. uh, i think it did largely and b I, I think it was actually written in a way that 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 safeguarded against many of the ways it was misused i mean it was actually a lot of the things that were in the patriot act were written to guard against the way it was actually used and still the government misused it mm -hmm. i mean it shows you you can't have too little faith in the federal government you can't have too little faith in this type of uh situation even in those most desperate moments and i and i come back to thinking about 911 and the patriot act the patriot act often when we when we have these you know terrible mass shootings and, and terrible events like that where afterwards the media not only doesn't learn the lesson of of that particular part of 9/11, where if you ru rush to try to do things in a in a in a big hurry and implement them, it has long lasting consequences. They cheer it on. Mm -hmm. They say, "How can we not act? Look at what New Zealand did. They had a mass shooting, and they just changed all of their laws." Mm -hmm. And they they say that as if it's something to praise, something to to chase after as a country. And it's like, that's the exact opposite. If, if, if you would have learned the lesson, I mean, it's, a, it's an important lesson to learn, I think, from, from a lot of the stuff that we did after 9-11, which is even though completely good intentions were there um, and, and a real serious situation, and we probably did actually, in, 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 when it comes to the Patriot Act, probably did prevent terrorist attacks, or at least may have. Um, and even with all that, I mean, we've, we've basically shredded the Fourth and Fifth Amendments We've given up incredible amounts of our liberty. We've, we've given up the, I, I mean, there's really no party now that's pushing back against mass surveillance in, in ways that we never could have imagined even after the Patriot Act was, was implemented. I mean, the guy who wrote it said afterwards, none of this stuff was allowed by what I wrote. I, I mean, that is a, it, you just realize that no matter when or how you increase the power of the government, eventually they will take it further. And that's why sometimes we hold, I, I, I get really iffy about holding lines on stuff that, that I, even, so, you know, I, you I, were I talking, me. you were talking yesterday about guns mm -hmm. and you said, I can't, we got off the air and you said, I can't believe the guy who is more on, you know, surveillance mm -hmm. and, and new technology. I can't believe that you are saying, well, Okay, if we're going to have, you know, a gun check and then we have to check it, you know, against selling guns to strangers, right. don't have a problem. And I have to tell you, uh, I retract that. I retract that. Uh, and think really? it bothered me all day yesterday. Bothered really? me all day yesterday. Um, and because I do want to do things that are sensible. But you know what? Um, having the government involved in background checks and having uh, uh, it becomes very easily as we're talking about the patriot act then none of this was in there <laughs> okay same thing that becomes a registry for guns and uh we already have enough on the on 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 these things this guns are not uh for sporting it is not for hunting food uh, it is for protection and not even protection of yourself. It is for protection against the government. And if we really want to take the Second Amendment seriously, it is a protection against an out-of-control government. And anything, our government is already out of control. And we all know it. Both sides know it. And yet both sides seem that think that their style of government will correct it. It won't.